Keep on shaking. Excellent, excellent. Now this exercise, which may seem a little funny to you the first time you do it, has a universal appeal. As you can see on the screen, we've done this shaking technique all over the world. We've done it with New York City firefighters after 9-11, with doctors and grand rounds and hospitals, with psychiatrists and psychologists who are working with traumatized kids, with medical students, with high school students in Washington, D.C., with athletes and kids in refugee camps and old folks and people of every age and size and color and culture all over the world. Now, at first, it seems a little weird, but pretty much everyone learns to love this technique. It's fun, and it's effective. Afterwards, you feel a little more energy, a little more relaxed, a little more happy just to be you. The whole idea is just to shake, to let the tension and the stress go, Definitely not to worry about what you look like. That's why we have people close their eyes. And this is eyes. not exactly brain surgery. And it's very good to see what it looks like and get a sense of it. So Sergio and I are going to demonstrate shaking for you. Sergio, come on. We're going to stand with our feet apart, about shoulder width apart, and let's bend our knees. Very important to bend the knees because we carry a lot of tension there, and it's also... We don't want to be communicating tension up through the body. We want to be shaking so that we really relax. So as you're standing, let your, feel your knees bend and relax your shoulders and your arms too. Again, that's another place we carry a lot of tension. Begin to take a few deep breaths. That's good. Good. Just let go as you take those breaths. Excellent. Excellent. Let your eyes close. Good. This is really important, especially if you're working with a group of people, because we tend to be a little self-conscious. And uh, we look around and wonder, how's everybody else doing? And what do they think about how I'm doing? If you close your eyes, you kind of have the opportunity to go back just into your own world. And this is really about your experience of shaking. So breathing deeply, thank nature for the opportunity to do this. And as we put the music on, allow yourself to begin to shake from your feet. Begin now to shake from your feet up through your knees. Good. That's good. Good. Keep shaking. Good. Let the shaking move up through the knees and the hips. Good. That's great. Let it move into your shoulders. It's a great way to take out the tension we carry in our shoulders and our upper backs. Keep shaking. Good. Keep shaking. Let the feeling move up. All right. Keep going. A little more. Good. Let your head go. We carry a lot of tension in our neck. Keep our on neck. shaking. Excellent. Excellent. Now this exercise, which may seem a little funny to you the first time you do it, has a universal appeal. As you can see on the screen, we've done this shaking technique all over the world. We've done it with New York City firefighters after 9-11, with doctors and grand rounds and hospitals, with psychiatrists and psychologists who are working with traumatized kids with medical students, with high school students in Washington, D.C., with athletes and kids in refugee camps and old folks and people of every age and size and color and culture all over the world. Now, at first, it seems a little weird, but pretty much everyone learns to love this technique. It's fun and it's effective. Afterwards, you feel a little more energy, a little more relaxed, a little more happy just to be you. The whole idea is just to shake, to let the tension and the stress go, definitely not to worry about what you look like. That's why we have people close their eyes.